hello, hello, hello. Good afternoon. It's Wednesday afternoon. What does the Bible mean to me? It has an eternal perspective. And that eternal perspective reaches down to this materialistic world. Now, <laughs> with that said, can the Bible be alien, meaning from another place? Not necessarily. Because God came down. Was he from another place? Yes. Was he from this place? Yes. He lived here. So is it an alien perspective? No. So the Bible is indeed God's perspective come down so if I were to describe the Bible it would be paradise lost and paradise found it's where eternity meets the materialistic world which at this time Point in history will not last forever. Eternity will. So what's the reality? This or what lasts forever? Well, what lasts forever? This is just a figment of that eternity which only lasts a short time. But it's still here. It's still real. Jesus' perspective of the Bible I gamble every single thing on the Bible, meaning Jesus said, if anyone come after me, he must deny himself, take up his cross daily and follow me. What good is it for a man to gain the whole world, yet forfeit his very soul? Again, I tell you, So the Bible has eternal relevance, eternal dividends. Jesus said, the time has come, the kingdom of God is near. Repent and believe the good news. The kingdom of God came down in the form of Jesus. He was near, and he brought the kingdom of God. And repent is just given. There's the way of the world. The spirit of the world is perhaps get and be gotten from. So to get what? Maybe money, prestige, fame. Something here that has no eternal relevance. That's the spirit uh, of the world. But Jesus said, repent, turn from that and believe. No one could ever see the kingdom of God without believing. Jesus said, I tell you the truth, unless you're born again, you'll not see the kingdom of God. So being born again into a new reality of the world. But that's on us. But then he brings the Bible in it to understand it. Light words for this afternoon. 
God bless.